Oh, this is not a spring chicken. If Cyber Monday has you seen black. <laughs> okay, we had to bring it up. <laughs> but anyway, well, you know, we did have Black Friday, but that's Cyber Monday. But, you know, the weather out here in Southern California, thank God, is absolutely wonderful. But we know winter is coming because, well, it is after Thanksgiving, but we did first see the heat starting to light out. Republicans offer reward for photo senator with Obama. Oh yeah, Obama said that uh, the senator Kasich from uh, from Pennsylvania is refusing to be anywhere near Obama. Okay, what? okay, he is the he was the leader on bringing Obamacare to the floor of the Senate. And then what happened? Uh, he they basically they're getting ready to throw him out of his seat in Pennsylvania over Obamacare. Oh. And he does not want to be seen with this president campaigning with him, period. As most Democrats don't want to be seen with him because Obama, uh, I mean, I, I, I was listening again, Democrats last night talking, if, you know, they need someone to run against this man. See, he, there's no primaries. You know what no primaries means? What? It can be a floor fight because he has, if there's no primaries, he does not have the rules are suspended, and he does not have enough votes to win. Oh, interesting. They can nominate anyone else on the floor of the convention. They so wish, and they are, are they wish it, because this guy is, I mean, he has the highest disapproval rating of any president in the history of the United States at any time. Jimmy Carter is dancing on top of tables, because they do not like this president. And Las Vegas couple held without bond and bloody sauce lane. Yeah, they cut somebody up with this with the chainsaw. Are you serious? In real life, I thought that was just something down the movies. Oh, they they you know they've been cutting people up with chainsaws for years. They used to cut them up with regular saws, not even chainsaws. And rare pristine comic book sells for two point one million dollars in auction. Yeah, I had one of those. I had some, I had a lot of those at one time. I did not get I didn't get money like that. You know, like they'd go for ten dollars a piece. Wow. The whole ten bucks. But then you got to understand like. I paid like 10 cents for them. Mm -hmm. So I stopped collecting comic books after they hit. When they went, to, I used to buy uh, two or 300 a, a month. And then they, as the price got higher and the comics got less and less, I bought less and less. And when they hit a buck, that was the last time I bought a comic book. And new suit claims Sandusky threatened Boy's family if he told. Okay, folks, it gets to be more and more ridiculous every day. So the guy's molesting kids for nearly 40 years and nobody knows about it, and he threatens a family. If the family tells anybody that it happened, the family's going to be punished, so they just ignore the fact that the kid was molested. Somehow that doesn't sound right. It's all pure garbage. I heard last night, uh, a, a, they have a night at a comic that's won a Pulitzer Prize for writing, and, and he, was a, he was a defense lawyer. He said that uh, you can understand why there's so few defense lawyers today and so many prosecutors because you're convicted before you ever come to trial. So there's, you can't even put up a defense. And he said that anybody believes that, you know, 30, 40 years after something happens, the floodgates open and everybody comes out and talks about it? No. Yeah. It doesn't happen in the real world. And he said, that, he said, if I'd have wrote something like that as a piece of comedy material, you think they'd have given me a Pulitzer Prize in writing and fiction? Mm-hmm. No. And Texas gunman injures woman and four children before killing himself. This is one my father always said. My father was a, a reserve officer, and I've hung around the police department a long time. I even did some stuff for Jack Webb things. But uh, they all, the one thing they said is that these people don't kill themselves. There's no reason to kill themselves. Because the, if they were going to kill themselves, they'd kill themselves and not kill anybody else. So what happens is, you can always, okay, my father said, you know that a person committed suicide when you see a bullet to the back of his head. And I heard what his partner said, Bobby Fleming, he said, yeah, he said, suicide by police revolver. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like if you're going to kill yourself, you put it in the back of your head. Yeah, yeah. which is impossible to do. I mean... 
Yeah. Like, you, I mean, you could, but why would you? Yeah. And then, Wouldn't uh, it be a whole lot easier to do it the other way? Then I, I, I was on, I was on a set. My father was talking to some of the people. They're making them. Uh, my father was, you know, besides being one of the, the rent cops, that was basically, you know, keeping the traffic away from the shooting. He, one of the guys, said, you know, I understand that people that commit suicide uh, by gun almost always have boot prints on the back of their neck. And he said, we don't know where you heard that because the Los Angeles Police Department only wears boots with their motorcycle officers. Mm -hmm. So that was... <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, that was my father's naughty way of agreeing, so... And governors want U.S. drug agency to reclassify marijuana. Oh, yeah. California wants to be sold. Uh, they're after one company for $20 million. Feds want $20 million in back taxes from one medical marijuana company. They said that, okay, all, we go to the, we'll go down to Venice Beach. All you got to do is to go in and, and go, <clears throat> and a doctor will give you a slip to buy medical marijuana. <laughs> so, it, 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 anybody, if, if you're breathing, you can get medical marijuana. I mean, it, it, it's not, here's the trick is, mm -hmm. I mean, I heard, I, I heard a guy the other day, he, one of the people who were at Fox advocates the use of marijuana for virtually everything. They just simply pointed out, what happens when somebody flying an airplane, driving a bus or a train crashes because they're taking marijuana? And he said, well, it, it would be the same as if you were taking, um, drinking alcohol. Yeah, but except the difference is alcohol is legal, marijuana isn't legal. So you want to give a legal protection to people to go kill people, saying, well, other people do it when they're drinking. No, that doesn't work. Like, you know, saying, well, the only reason I didn't kill you with my 45 and I used my, my hand grenade was hand grenades are legal and my 45 isn't. But if you'd have made my 45 legal, I'd have killed you with it instead. That, and uh, it, it, that's ridiculous. And students' funeral turns into call for action after hazing. The old band member got hazed. I mean, this is ridiculous. I used to. Okay, I can remember when I was in band that the guy, girls would run around and yank, at band practice, they'd run around and yank the guy's shorts down. And in return, the guys would go around yanking the tops off of the girls. But isn't that just normal? That's called <laughs> normal, I mean, you know. And they, they tell, okay, they, they tell like, okay, one of the guys, okay, you want to move up to first trumpet? Go bring us back her swimsuit top. Ah. Yeah, and they say, you know, and the girls would say, he, you know, bring back the guy's jock strap and you can be the, the head. <laughs> yeah, so it, that's, that was hazing, folks. And came to decide on campaign after face to face with wife. Yeah, they, they say he, they <laughs> said he's, uh, he has virtually no support anywhere. They said there's no, there, there's no validity to anything, and basically a lot of the people are saying, that the Republicans should be supporting him, but unfortunately, the people at the Republican mainstream do not want a. Uh, they don't, they, want, a, they don't yeah. want a black man in there as president. They want a black man that they choose, which is a political creature. If Herman Cain had been a 40 year political person, the upper echelon. would have been okay. It would have been okay, but he's not. He's not one of them, and, it's, and it has nothing to do that he's black. He could be. A woman, he could be Latino. He could be he Michelle could, Bachman. He could, he could be, be Sarah Palin. They don't have the pedigree that they, they say you should have, which is basically, you know, tell everybody what they want to hear when you, and then when you get elected, just, you know, spend money like it's water. And the markets were on news that banks and, and the USA that funds that I, the INC will bail out Europe. Oh, yeah. The United States spent a trillion dollars. Actually, they didn't spend any money. What happened was, Every bank in the world that has the capability of printing money, every, every, all the systems in the world printed money, and they gave the money they printed out to the people. The money was worthless. It's printed pieces of paper. And don't worry, though. I'll take some of that worthless money, it, though. It did not cause inflation. And they're, they're basically showing... Um, I, I, think she, I think she hit my computer. I saw it. She broke her... No! No, Auntie. That, that was your mommy. She hit her knee. <laughs> my, that, that was earthquake. Was earthquake? <laughs> Listen to mommy. Boy, she is gonna. <laughs> that was mommy. And I'm Paul wants to make certain that the internet is for the people, and he will be the one who decides who gets it. Well, because so Obama basically was the internet president. The problem being internet president was it was based upon the fact that 
the people that voted for him had internet. The first thing that went when they lost their jobs, and those people haven't got their jobs, is the internet. Mm -hmm. So you know what he wants to do? Mm -hmm. He wants to give free internet access to everyone in the country that can't afford it, which is his, his base. Isn't that amazing? Oh, wait. it should be for everybody, not no, just for No, he's not going people. to pay for it. Oh, everybody else. Everyone that doesn't support Obama will be required by Obama to pay for his re-election campaign. Mm. And I'm Auntie Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That was 20 minutes? No! Oh, we're doing a double double doer? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was just one. No, we're making up for a slight mistake yesterday. Oh yeah, it's called push the button. You gotta push the gotta push the right button on the camera. Oh, does it have anything to do with the stock market going up? Vertical, as the reports call it. Okay, uh, basically vertical means it's it should never have went up because it went up on the day before the market went up. The ratings agencies all downgraded the uh, banks in the world because they, this one, and why, uh, FBS, BS, why did they downgrade the banks? Because they didn't have enough cash on hand to pay the bills. And then the next day, they gave away like three trillion dollars, they printed it all up. Oh, so therefore, they didn't have enough cash on hand the day before. They printed up trillions of dollars the next day, and the banks are solvent. That's why they say it's a vertical rise. Ah. Uh. They, they didn't, there was nothing to support what they did. It means it's just vertical with no support. That's the day you're seeing and no support. Ah, uh, and the lights turn out on LAX. Oh, yeah, we had a huge storm last night. Actually, it's, it's still happening out there. Cut away. Massive windstorm, 40, 50 miles an hour. Trees are down everywhere, power down. They look out the wind and it just all of a sudden there's this huge burst of wind and that will do it all the time. I know, but that, I mean, the power goes out at LAX. Now that's the part that surprises me because I thought they would have it had that. It never should go out at LAX. The power should, before the power go. It, and that's it, the Los Angeles uh, airport. The, the, as soon as the power goes out, the power should come on at LAX because they have enough. They, they have an internal power supply that should be able to run all night long if need be. And Iran adds three more domestically built submarines to the Navy. Yeah, they, uh, they're using technology supplied by the Soviet Union and China. So you'd think that the Soviet Union and China, who are buying oil from Iran, uh, and they said, but why is the Soviet Union, who is one of the largest producers of oil, buying it? Because Iran's oil is only good for one thing. It's machine oil. And crisis makes banking survivors jacks of all trades. Yeah, well, because Obama's forced it. They said uh, that uh, um, Bank of America stock is verging on going to junk bond status. It's worth so little because of his presence. So he's basically eliminated banks from doing business. So they have to figure out new ways of doing business. Of course, none of those have to do with loaning money. Oh, really? Well, they no longer loan money. And under the Dodd-Frank bill, which Obama proudly signed, and and those few people was it? Um, uh, we got Scott Brown, uh, we got Olympia Snow, and um, and you know, it was Susan Collins. I guess the three Republicans always will vote to spend money, and basically this was a huge giveaway to uh, major uh, to major institutions because it basically makes it impossible for small banks that do most of the loaning to do business, which basically brought a halt to the loaning in a small business administration also. And why oh, is really? the, well, remember, this is the president, okay, what did they say the other night, they were talking making fun of the fact that this is the president, you know, the, we have history. We have the first anti-small business president in American history. We have the first gay president in American history. We have the first Muslim president in American history. And we have the first, um, uh, minority president in American history. And, and then the guy said, oh, God. No. <laughs> that was just his response. Mm. And yeah. crisis makes banking survivors jacks of all trades. I know, she liked that so much she said it twice. Of course, because it does. I know, but, and none of them very good. And Harrisburg misses deadline for bankruptcy plan. That's Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, basically. One city after another after another in this country is going bankrupt. You know why they're declaring bankruptcy? Why? To get out from underneath the union um, agreements that they have. They cannot pay. Th this is a good one. 
why, here, here was a question, why are all of these democratically controlled cities declaring bankruptcy? It's because they can't afford the, the uh, health care that they currently have for the employees. So what you're going to do is to put Obamacare in, which is even more expensive that you can't afford. But don't worry. The ultimate plan from Nancy Pelosi said yesterday, they said she, they said, she said something honest in her first time in her career, they said, she said, this has never been about health care. This is about a, a government takeover of the health care system so there'll be a single payer system, which will result in and equality for everyone, in which the guy said, you mean everyone gets crappy service? Mm -hmm. And they said, I did, we never said there would be improved service. We said there would be equality of service. Mm -hmm. That's, they said, the guy goes back and check, God, they didn't say that there would be an improvement. They said there would be equality, and equality almost always means worse service. Yeah, that's right. And China holds fire over Obama before regional summit. Yeah, the, 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 this guy is, he's doing his Hillary Clinton. You have to stop spending. You are causing a problem with your spending. And then Obama comes back, we need another half a trillion dollars in stimulus funding. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, he's telling them it doesn't work and over here. Well, the difference is our stimulus programs work. And the only reason our economy is as strong as it is, well, I can give you two words to explain this so-called, uh, okay, Monday morning, there was the greatest sales in the history of this country on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Today, they're now saying the sales exceeded expectations. Mm -hmm. When they say exceeded expectations and the expectations were not high, it means they did not have record because Thursday they start reevaluating everything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's in the small print versus the headlines, right? That's right. They get that no one's going all they heard was the okay, it's the same thing of if it's Monday, how is the real estate market in this nation? It's booming. If it's Thursday, how is the real estate market in this nation? Um, we've redone the figures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always bad. Federal Housing Authority running low on cash to report. They've only got $2 billion left and they're asking, they want That's another it? $100 billion from Obama. Wait, there were $2 billion and they want $100 billion more? They can't, uh, $2 billion is not enough to pay, uh, is not enough to keep it going. They're, they're funneling, um, I think what it is, uh, 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 like two point something or a billion dollars uh, a, a day into the housing problem. Wow. Well, they're still loaning. Uh, 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 those people that can actually get loans are still borrowing money. So, and, and NASA budget saves telescope and cuts space taxis. Yeah, Obama. What in the world are space taxis? That, anyway? Okay, that's getting us to our satellite. Uh, getting us to our space station. Obama, he's going to pay the Russians like sixty million dollars a trip to take us up to our space station. Because, and it, you know why the telescope is being saved by Obama? Why? Because it's part of, Mon, of Obama's Muslim outreach. They're going to help the Muslims understand global climate change through, their, through the use of our telescope, which means, what it means, they're going to aim it at the earth and they're going to see American military installations and then send the material back to the Muslims. Oh. Isn't that nice of our president? I know, it is nice of our president. Who's president is he? <laughs> uh, he? Okay, he is the first Muslim president in the history of this nation. He, the, I heard. Okay, the, the, I mean, oh, I mean, I heard Donald Trump go ballistic. He he called. He basically he called him the worthless son of a bitch. He said the worthless Muslim son of a bitch was celebrating Muslim Christmas. He would be the, he'd be standing on the table. He's a, he's not going to be at the lighting of the Christmas trees this year because the, he's got more important things to do. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be there for the Rockefeller Center one, which is too Republican. He's not going to be there for that throwing in a switch at the White House one. The, 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 the government Christmas tree will not have a president there for the first time since, I guess, before Franklin Delano Roosevelt because Obama has, well, He's on a campaign trip at that time. And emergency post-election measures won't save Spain. No, they, the Spain is busted. They give Spain like another hundred billion dollars <throat> to get them through until the next crisis, which is in about ten days. They have these countries have okay. If you can't print money, you're broke. 
Only the countries in Europe that can print money are not broke. Doesn't that sound to me, doesn't that give people an idea that if the ones that don't, can't print money are busted and the ones that can print money aren't, which means the money's worthless. Wow. And kids taken from ex fiance of People's Court's missing mom. Uh, well, the problem is they got no proof. That this is what they're talking about, the guy from the comic. He said that uh, our Constitution says you're innocent and he'll prove guilty. The law today says you're guilty and you might as well accept the fact because, uh, well, he obviously killed her, even though there's no proof of it. And because he obviously killed her, he's unfit to be the, unfit to have his children. There, there's nothing, there's nothing in the law that says obviously must be. Mm-hmm. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. You know, sometimes if you push the right button in life, it will get you where you want to go. <laughs>